Okay, so here is a thermo problem. Um, this is actually uh, from the lecture notes, and it is uh, an AP question. This is from a 2003 uh, AP free response. Um, now, whenever you're given a pressure volume graph, you know, one thing to keep in mind is that this is for a gas in a cylinder with a movable piston. So this right, this right here, this piston can slide up and it can slide down with no friction and the gas is trapped in there. Um, one of the big ideas with pressure volume graphs, so notice I have for each step, you know, A to B, I've labeled work equals, heat equals, W is work, Q is heat. Um, one of the main ideas is that for any complete cycle on a pressure volume graph, the change of internal energy is zero. Now up here I have the three equations for chapter 12. Um, well, not the only three, but the three that are going to pertain to this problem uh, written down. And so the, the basic definition for internal energy is it's the total of the kinetic plus the potential energy of the molecules in the substance. But as we talked about in class, um, we're dealing with a gas here and uh, the gas is not going to undergo a phase change. It's going to stay a gas. So the only energy we're going to be dealing with is kinetic energy, which is the energy that's linked to temperature. Uh, potential energy is the energy that changes during a phase change, which we're not going to be dealing with. So you can ignore that. So any change of internal energy for this chapter is going to be linked with a change of kinetic energy, which is linked to temperature. You know, the, the definition for temperature is uh, it's a measure of the kinetic energy of the molecules in a substance. And then this second equation is actually how internal energy is changed. You can add or remove heat to the gas, or you can add or remove work. Now, um, you know, the sign convention is, you know, if, if heat or work go into the gas, that's considered plus. Um, so heat is easy to visualize, you know, heat going in. Uh, work is a little trickier. Uh, for work to go into the gas, that would be the piston going down, uh, the volume getting smaller. That would be positive work. So uh, up here on our pressure volume graph, uh, this work right here, the work from B to C is going to be a positive work because the volume decreases from B to C. And then up here, from D to A, this is going to be negative work because that's work coming out of the gas. If the piston goes up, um, that's considered to be negative work. That's work going out. Um, so heat or work in is plus for internal energy. Uh, heat or work out is minus for internal energy. And remember, if internal energy changes, that changes the kinetic energy of the molecules, which will change the temperature. Kinetic energy is linked to temperature. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this given information over here, and we're going to transfer it onto the pressure volume graph. So the first thing we're told is that the heat from C to A is positive 685, uh, meaning that heat is added. From C up to A, this is positive 685 joules. All right, the work from C to A is negative 120. And it makes sense that it's negative because from C up to A, the volume is increasing, which means that this piston is moving up. Uh, that's negative work. All right, now the third thing given here, in so U is internal energy, UA minus UB, um, that's, this right here is basically a change. Uh, that's the change of internal energy from between A and B. And change is always final minus initial. So what, what this is telling us is that the internal energy at A minus the internal energy at B comes out to be positive 450, which means that A has higher internal energy than B. All right, one thing to notice, so we're focusing on A down to B. From A down to B, there is no change in volume. The volume stays constant, 
which means that this piston right here is not moving at all. It's staying put, which means that there's no work done. Uh, in order for work to be done, the piston must move. Or another way to look at it, in this third equation, work equals P delta V, the delta V is zero. There's no change in volume. All right, so back to this information. The change of internal energy from A, but between A and B, is 450. Now, um, we know, and I'm going to show you why, this Q has to be negative. I just want to talk about this for a second. The Q has to be negative because if we look at PV equals NRT, so we're going from A down to B, um, from A down to B, the volume is constant, moles is constant, and the way, we, the way that we know moles is constant is that this, this uh, cylinder is sealed. Uh, the only way to change moles is if uh, gas leaks out or if more gas is pumped in. But this is a sealed cylinder, so we're dealing with a fixed quantity of gas. Uh, and then R is the gas constant. So V is constant, N is constant, R is constant. So from A to B, what happens is, is the pressure drops. So therefore, if everything else is constant, temperature must drop. So we have a decrease in temperature from A to B. Uh, the work is zero, so Q has to be negative. So the way I know that, if the, if the temperature from A to B is dropping, that means that there's a decrease in kinetic energy, which means the internal energy is decreasing. So this has to be negative, uh, which means, you know, so change of internal energy is negative. This W right here is zero, so the Q has to be negative in order to have the change of internal energy be negative. You know, but that might be too complicated. I mean, just using common sense, um, if the temperature drops, and no work is done, because uh, work can affect the temperature. You know, work, work does affect internal energy. But here the work is zero. So in order for the temperature to drop, heat must be coming out. So long story short, what I'm trying to get at here is this Q is negative 450. That's what this third piece of information is telling us. But the reason that it's a positive here uh, I know this is confusing for kids. I've been doing this problem for many years. Um, the reason this is positive is they're taking the internal energy at A minus the internal energy at B. So as you move from A to B, there's a loss of energy. Point A has more energy than B, which is why this comes out plus. Okay, on to the last piece of information. Uh, the work from A to B to C is 75. But so they're, they're talking about A to B to C, but we already know the work from A to B was zero. So really what they're telling us here is simply the work from B to C, because the work from A to B was zero. So this is positive 75, and again that makes sense that it's positive because the volume is decreasing. That's work going into the gas. Okay, and then one last thing, or actually, let's, let's put this in here. From, uh, from C up to D, from C up to D, there's no change of volume, so this work is zero. Um, and then before we even look at the questions here, uh, I want to solve for this work, the, the work from D to A for this step up here. Uh, the way that we can find this work is by taking the area under the segment DA. So we're going to take the area all the way to the bottom, that whole area there. So let me erase that. Uh, so the way that's going to look, so the, the base, so we're, we're, we're basically using this equation here. Work equals P delta V. So up here, this is the height, right? And then down here, this is the base. So this base is uh, 0 0.25 times 10 to the negative 3 cubic meters. So notice over here, this is 10 to the negative 3. And then up here, this is 10 to the 5th. So this pressure is 6 times 10 to the 5th pascals. So we're, uh, we're going base, which is uh, 0 
times 10 to the negative 5. No, negative 3 cubic meters. And then the height is 6 times 10 to the fifth pascals. So this is P, and then there is delta V. Okay, so what that comes out to be, let me clean this up. This comes out as uh, 150, 150 joules, and it's negative. And the reason I know it's negative is the volume is getting bigger. Okay, now let's take a look at the questions. So we, we have the problem pretty well set up here. So the first question is, determine the change in internal energy UA minus UC. So this is this right here, UA minus UC. That's a change of internal energy between states A and C. Uh, so change is always final minus initial. So they're going UA minus UC. So uh, A is going to be the final. C is the initial. So final is A. Initial is C. So we start at C and then move up to A. Uh, so look at this second equation up here. The second equation says change of internal energy is heat plus work. If we look at this graph from C up to A, we have heat and work. So the answer to the question is going to be the sum of these two right here, 685 plus a negative 120, and that comes out to be 565. That's this answer right here, and that's positive. Uh, there's an increase in internal energy from C up to A, which means, uh, as, so if the internal energy is increasing from C up to A, that means the kinetic energy is increasing, which means the temperature is increasing. All right, second question. Is heat added or removed from the gas when the gas is taken along the path ABC? So we're focusing on A to B to C. And all the question wants is, is, is the total heat going into the gas or coming out of the gas? Uh, we've already figured out for A to B that heat must be coming out. Uh, that has to be the case because the temperature drops from A to B. So now we need to figure out what's happening to this heat right here. Is it plus or minus for the step uh, B to C? Well, what we're going to find out is that this has to be minus. This negative here has to be negative. It's, it's got to be negative. And the reason I know that is that the temperature is dropping from B to C. If you, if you go uh, PV equals NRT, so we're focusing on B to C, um, pressure is constant, moles is constant, and R is constant. So what happens from B to C is that the volume decreases, which means if everything else is constant, then temperature must decrease. So the temperature is decreasing, which means the kinetic energy is decreasing, which means the change of internal energy must be decreasing. This has to be negative. But the work is positive. This work right here is positive, which means the heat has to be more negative than the work is positive in order for this to come out negative. I don't know, hopefully that made sense. Another way to do it is you could just calculate what this Q is. Um, you can calculate what the Q is by focusing on the complete cycle, A to B to C up to A. You can use this complete cycle right here. Um, the thing that's always true for a complete cycle is the change of internal energy must be zero. And the reason why is you come back to the same point, which means you're coming back to the same temperature, which means there is no change of internal energy for the complete cycle. So what you do is you, you uh, add up you know, this W, this Q, this W, our unknown, this Q is our unknown, this W, this Q, the only missing thing is this Q right here, and when you do the algebra, it comes out as 190, negative 190. Um, 
So, you know, I'll show you how I did that. So basically starting at point A, uh, zero is that W minus 450, 450 uh, plus 75, that's, that's right here, plus X, that's, our, that's what we're looking for, uh, minus 120, now I'm coming up C to A, and then plus 685, everything adds up to zero, and then you solve for X and you get negative 190. That's the heat from B to C. All right, so uh, the answer to B, so uh, B is asking for, is heat added or removed from the gas along the path ABC? Well, A to B, we found out that heat is removed. B to C, heat is removed. So definitely uh, heat is removed from, along the path ABC. All right, part C, third question. Calculate the heat added or removed when the gas is taken along the path ABC. All right, so now they want the specific number. So from A to B, the heat removed is negative 450. From B to C, the heat removed is 190. So you add those two together and you get 640. 640 joules of heat energy is removed. All right, question D. We've actually already solved this. Uh, how much work is done on the gas in the process CDA? So uh, CDA, um, from C to D, there is no work done. The work is zero. So what they're really asking for here is the work from D to A. Um, so right here, C, D, A, they're actually just asking for the work D to A because the work from C to D is zero. Uh, and the way I got this 150 was finding the area all the way down to the x-axis. You just go base times height, and you're basically using P delta V. All right, last question. Is heat added or removed from the gas when the gas is taken along the path to C, D, A? All right, C to D to A. The question's asking about heat. Now, the thing to recognize here, and this is the tricky part to the question, uh, no matter how hard you try, you cannot find this Q, the heat from C to D. No matter how hard you try, you cannot find the heat from D to A. However, you can find what they are together. You can find out what, you know, the heat from C to D <clears throat> and the heat from D to A, what are these guys collectively? Um, and the way you do this is you can just, you focus on a complete cycle. So I would just use the perimeter here. So let me make some room. Okay. Uh, so we're going to focus on the complete cycle, A, B, C, D, back to A. Um, the change of internal energy is zero for any complete cycle, which means all the W's and the Q's for that complete cycle add up to zero. Uh, and we're going to treat these two Q's as one. All right, so starting at point A, W is zero, Q is negative 450. Uh, okay, B to C, work is positive 75, heat was negative 190. All right, C to D, the work is zero, and then we're going to put plus X, so that X are, is our two Q's. Um, we'll just call it Q. Let's just call that Q. And then uh, we also have the work from D to A as negative 150. Okay, so for the complete cycle, everything adds up to zero. You solve for that Q, and you get positive 715. So uh, heat is added along the path CDA, and in fact that we know, we know what it is, uh, the heat added along CDA is positive 715 joules.